Well, many parents, they still aren't sure if they want to get their children the COVID-19 vaccine, even if they had it themselves. So we thought, okay, who could we talk to? How about a pediatrician who has kids? Dr. Bumi OG Kutu understands that, the Reading Hospital pediatrician. Good morning, doctor, by the way. You're already on the screen. Says she had to, uh, you know, feel comfortable before vaccinating the two beautiful children that she has next to her there. A 14-year-old uh, Kemi and 12-year-old Kunle. Uh, so, doctor, before we talk to you, Kemi, let's start with you. What are you, and you're 14 years old? Mm -hmm. So what grade are you going to go into in September? I'm going into ninth grade. Ninth grade, okay. So when did you get the shot? How do you feel now? Um, I got it um, the 14th, 13th of May, and I felt really good about it. The first shot I got didn't feel anything. It was totally fine. The second one, however, I did get a little bruising where I got the shot, but after a few hours, it was totally fine. And that was it? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Which one did you get? Pfizer, Moderna, JJ? Pfizer. 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 Okay. Okay. So, Kunle, what about you? How old are you? And uh, what grade are you going to go into? Oh, Kunle. Oh, what she can't you? hear. I'm uh, sorry. What, what, grade, what grade will you be going into? I will be going into seventh grade. Okay. And if you could ask, then what was it like for you, your experience getting the shot? Did you feel anything afterward? How was your experience getting the shot? How did you feel after? After the first shot, I didn't feel really anything. There was no soreness, no tiredness, I didn't have the headache. I felt pretty good. Okay. So we said there that you had to feel comfortable, doctor. You're a pediatrician. Uh, what were your concerns? Well, good morning. Thank you so much for having sure. us on. It's a pleasure. Um, I was, I'm a pediatrician and a mom before that. Mm -hmm. So the first thing was I, I had to be sure that it was, um, uh, I had to trust the science behind it and I trust that and I saw, I saw the data and I trust the data. Um, I had to be sure that it was effective and it proven to be very effective. And most importantly, I had to know that it was safe. Um, it had mm -hmm. to be safe enough to go into my children and before I could even recommend it to other people's children. So we checked all those boxes for myself and my husband. And so what are your thoughts? Because it seems like one of the main things that we're hearing from folks who are a little hesitant is, well, have they done enough research? What about the research for my kids to make sure that it's going to be mm -hmm. okay? What are your thoughts on the data when it comes to uh, the COVID vaccine in, in younger folks? The data was, was very reassuring for the age group that um, up to the 16 year old, I, you call it age, I would call it bodies. Um, it had the, first of all, the amount of children that had been vaccinated um, was reassuring, the 16, 17, 18 year old. The, the amount of illness we were seeing in people who had been vaccinated was rapidly going down and the safety profile was the same as we had seen in the older population and similar to what had been done in earlier testing, both here and reported from other countries that had used Pfizer. So we're talking about a wide breadth of information that I had access to, to review and be yeah. reassured. And then when they extended it to our children's age group, well, knowing that their bodies are similar to that of a of a growing 16 year old, um, it, it just in rapidly, we were just increasing the pool. Uh, so the testing data in that age group, again, was identical and reflected the good data that had been um, shown both in testing and in real life for yeah. the for the 16 year olds and above. So it was very reassuring. You know, doctor, uh, and it looks like Moderna is gonna join Pfizer, which your girls got, mm -hmm. and, and FDA will approve their uh, yeah. vaccine for 12 to 17 year olds, probably in the next few days. So we'll have a Pfizer and Moderna. But then this stinking Delta variant came in from yeah. India and the UK. And yeah. in the headline, it mentioned your girl's age group. Should they be covered for the variant? So, so far, with the vaccine that we have out here in the US have been proven, they're not, we're not seeing breakthrough with these variants yet. Now, once the Delta starts to really circulate in the US, if it circulates in the US, we'll see how that's going to go. I don't, I don't wanna guess ahead, but so far, even uh, more concerning international variants that have come through, um, 
we all three of us here got Pfizer. My husband got Moderna. Um, my daughter and my son, they both did well. My husband done well. And people that we've seen in the U.S. Um, have done well with, with other variants. So our hope is that the Delta will prove to be the same. Yeah. All the more reason we're hoping that the vaccination, um, po vaccinated population increases. Um, if we can vaccinate enough people, we will always have a better chance against a, any strain mm -hmm. than if we have a large pool of people that are still yet to be vaccinated. And, and that's true. And we're still trying to get more people. And you've said if yeah. all the adults had agreed to get the vaccine, it wouldn't have been as necessary for the kids. But because mm -hmm. they're not now, that's why we have a big focus on our kids. That's one reason. Mm -hmm. The other reason is that it is effective in protecting children against the vaccine. And even though we haven't seen a large number of children get sick or critically ill, um, as we saw in recent studies, even from the MMWR released recently, we are seeing and we have been seeing young children as well as teenagers get infected. Some get sick, some become um, some need intensive care. You um, so there is that layer of protection yeah. for the children, too. I mean, I mean there's some people say, well, the, the kids aren't going to die. They're not going to get very sick. So yeah. I'm not even going to do the, the risk yes. of vaccinating. But yeah. th that's changing now. Uh, yeah. Doctor, thank you for joining us. And thank, thank you, you to your uh, beautiful daughters as well. Your daughter thank you very son, much yes. for having us. Thank oh, you. I'm sorry. I'm not, thank hey, there you go. <laughs> and, and say hello to your husband. He, got, he got, didn't get to be a part of the segment. Well, we saw him in the pictures. It's a beautiful family. That's true. So